It's Brittany Bish, and I'm back. And we just watched. <laughs> we just watched Waterworks. Sorry, we didn't want to just watch it. We watched it when it came out, but we're finally. But we're finally doing it because, you know, I said two weeks ago we went camping, but we just went camping again, and this is the first night we have free to actually make the video. Yes. Um, and yeah, so Waterworks, Better Call Saul, second to last episode of the series. Just as always, start with no spoilers, initial reactions. Oh. I didn't even think about it. Um, loved it. Got a lot from the episode. Yep. So, I don't know. I felt satisfied. I felt like... I guess my reaction was like, I want to watch the next one right away. And what is going to happen? Yes. And that was a good episode. And Saul makes me so mad. Or Jimmy or Gene. Those are my reactions. <laughs> okay. Yeah, I feel like we're in this, you know, in the, the home stretch of the show. Yeah. And so I feel like every initial reaction has been the same. Other than Nippy, which was, give me the next episode. I want to see um, tantalizing stuff. Right. You know, if this was a different time of the show that we're doing this, you know, it might be a little different. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, it was all together I can't, very well made. I can't believe it's the second to last one. Yeah. Like, the next one, everything wraps up. Mm -hmm. And I'm very stressed. Yeah. I feel like for my initial reaction, it was, wow. Great episode, but also, like, this is what I've been waiting for in the show. Because mm -hmm. as I said many times before, I am first a Breaking Bad fan. So, like, going into the show, my initial reaction into going to it was, I want to see Breaking Bad Jimmy, right? Yeah. But as the show has progressed, you know, as I've watched it since, very, since day one, you know, obviously those desires are slowly weaned off and you start caring more of the show. Uh, as you know, I am a Breaking Bad super fan, so maybe most people weren't that way, where all they wanted was the end, in the beginning, which is what I wanted. Um, but you know, obviously you start caring throughout. But this episode is kind of like, after the first season or so, this is what I've wanted to watch. I like wanted to see the um, post Better Call Saul, um, Jimmy and Kim, and see what they've been waiting, you know, what we have wanted to see for this climax. Yes. And this episode is what we, is we get to see that. Right. Do you get, like, did this episode give you the same feeling as, like, watching Breaking Bad? No. Like, those episodes? No. Really? Um, actually... I feel like it gave a lot, like, there was so much going on. I think I like, agree. The conflict. Bit, actually. Mm -hmm. I didn't think about that. Hmm. I just feel like it gave a lot. Like, there's different storylines. Or two, I guess, huh? Maybe I should have thought about that. But, I don't know. I just feel like, it's because it's like progressing the storyline more and more. It's like gonna give a wrap up to everything. So it's giving us a lot. But I feel like we always got a lot from Breaking Bad. Yes. No matter where we were at. In yes. the season. I agree. That That is one thing that, yeah. I feel like the ending of the episode was very Breaking Bad-ish. Um, I mean, I don't really want to talk about this because, you know, this is Better Call Saul. It's not Breaking Bad. You know? Yeah. I'm trying to get away from that. <laughs> um, but yeah, I guess, like, immediately coming off it, I didn't feel like I watched a Breaking Bad episode. Just because every episode of this show feels like its own show. Which, kudos to them for being oh, able yes. to create something different, a different vibe. Which I even felt like El Camino was a different vibe. Which isn't as big of a thing because even if I make a movie, it always feels different than the show. Yeah. But, yeah, it, it uh, yeah, this show has always had its own flavor. I feel like if you didn't know anything about Breaking Bad and you just started watching it, you'd have a great time. And you would, and like not knowing that Saul was going to be Saul... You know, like that's where he, or I guess even to Gene, like you would enjoy the show so much. I feel like it wouldn't be like lame. 
you know, because we're watching it because, like, oh, Breaking Bad, and now we're going to learn about Saul Goodman. Yeah. But watching it not knowing anything, I think you'd enjoy it, like, a lot. There wouldn't be that push to... Yeah. Or that love for Breaking Well, the Bad. problem with Better Call Saul at times with me is I feel like they lean too much on Easter eggs to keep the excitement at times. For example, like, that's this is why this eternal battle in my head has always gone on with the show is I don't know if I would tell someone to watch this first. I wouldn't. You really? You're that confident in that? I would not tell someone to watch this first, no. Over Breaking Bad? Really? Why? Because, um... Is it what I'm about to say, the little Easter eggs that don't I matter? I just feel like there's too many scenes where they put in Easter eggs to make you excited from Breaking Bad when that doesn't... I mean, I like it, but I kind of want it to just stay on its own. You know, I feel like they do it too many times. I get that, yeah. Yeah. Or... True. Yeah. Like, you know, they brought up Combo in Jesse's conversation, right? Yeah. Like, that doesn't... That doesn't progress anything in the show. It was just a way to connect the two worlds, right? Mm -hmm. Breaking Bad, every single thing they did was to progress their world. Yeah. They didn't yeah. have to please anything. With the show, they added that whole dialogue with Jesse about combo. That was not... <laughs> we are spoiling a little bit here. Sorry. That's not... But they, just, they bring up combo. Yeah. And, you know, and then they also have, like, the alcohol bottle top. There's a lot of things. But those are the only two that are coming to my mind. Right. Um... And it's just like, I no, I enjoy it. It just makes me feel like it's a um, sideshow, you know. Definitely, but it's still good. That's why I feel like if someone had didn't really know about Breaking Bad, I feel like that'd be cool going into it. That's what I was saying. Oh, would okay. you tell someone to watch Better Call Saul before they watch Breaking Bad? Well, no, okay. because I feel like you can watch Breaking Bad, fall in love with the whole. You know, everything that goes down in Albuquerque, you know. And then learn about Saul and, and like, be interested in the spinoff show about his past. You would, like, be hooked to be like, oh my gosh, that guy, you know. Because Saul's hilarious. And he's, like, such a dirty lawyer. Like, I feel like anyone would be like, oh yeah, I'd be interested in watching it, right? I just, I just want to know, I want someone to experience it that way. And I want to know their thoughts. Because yes. it would make me sad that they would watch Breaking Bad. I feel like they would watch it waiting to see Saul. No? Oh. I could see that. And that would break my heart. But. That, you know, that's what you're excited about. I could see that. But, like, Breaking Bad is so good that, like, you would fall in love yeah. with the other characters. You'd be I'm so saying, invested in I'm just Jesse saying, Malt. Yeah, I'm just saying it'd be a possibility that I would not like. Yeah. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want that to be there, you know, like, oh, when's Saul going to come up? Yeah, yeah. Saul. totally. No, just experience Walt and Jesse. So, okay. So with that out of the way, let's get into our scores. So, again, no... Oh, before we get into it, um, I want to try something a little different. As our Midnight Star is kind of our critical score, um, I was thinking that we'd just do an entertainment score out of 100, and then a description to kind of give you the audience... An understanding of it before you go into it. Um, it is a little bit harder with episodes as you know you've watched the last ones and there's not as much. To, but with movies, I feel like the description would be very helpful. Um, and just so people know, our critical score and our entertainment score they were made to um, for what we were doing before, which we might go back to. But they were purposely made for mainly comedies or movies that. Might, might not have been as great critical wise, but we enjoyed the movie. And, you know, there's a lot of them out there, um, but for but I wanted to try it this way for now. So we'll see how it goes. But we'll bring up the we'll bring up the score card. So we're not giving this any stars, which we'll we'll give the stars for the season next episode. And then we gave this a 94. We have it slightly above the last episode. Mm -hmm. Um. Very good for what it is. Um, really no complaints. Great stuff. Great at acting. I feel like this episode had a little bit better acting than most. And then like your average Better Call Saul episode has. This one was just a little tad above. And, you know, obviously writing was superb. Everything flowed. And 
Yeah. Directing all mm-hmm. the the montage scene in the beginning was great. So then I, we get to the oh sorry what I was gonna say with the acting being really good, I feel like it's because the episode gave moments where the actors could have been like not so great with it or like be amazing with it and they were just great with it like they okay. took it you yeah. know what I mean I can see that and then for the description this was a much watch for all Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul fans bringing to light new truths and setting up a thrilling season for the series finale now the only thing I would add to that is this episode in itself was thrilling while also setting up a thrilling finale which is great yes but, yeah, very good episode. I'm not going to give it, we're not giving it 97, 98, as that's kept for the special of the special. The most <laughs> exhilarating, on top of dramatic, on top of everything. But, yeah, great episode. Oh, yeah. So let's spoil this. 